Good afternoon, friends. Happy Saturday. There are new requirements that Americans have to meet to be eligible to receive a $7,200 payment next year from the federal government. So, in today's video, I will be sharing with you what the new requirements are for this next round of payments. There are also a few reasons why you may not have yet received an extra stimulus check. Please, friends, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to enter this coming Friday's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway. Here's a good news about the Democrats' compromise of $1.75 trillion spending plan, the outline for which was released on Thursday. The latest child tax credit update we have is that the spending bill framework includes an expanded version of the credit for one more year. That means in addition to the monthly stimulus checks next year, families would also receive the second half of their 2021 child tax credit at tax time when they file their federal income tax return. In a little over two weeks, the fifth of six child tax credit payments will go out. There is a November 5th scheduled check and also December 15th, which is a final check for this year. Including the child tax credit check that went out earlier this month, the Internal Revenue Service and the U.S. Treasury sent out $60 billion to more than 36 million U.S. households so far. The six checks that recipient families receive this year add up to half of their full year payment. The other half comes in the form of a tax credit in 2022. Families will receive that second half when they file their taxes next year. President Biden had wanted to extend this tax credit permanently, if not at least cement a multi-year extension. Friends, please stop and think about what that means for a moment though. Millions of American families would receive a check for several hundred dollars from the federal government each month in a huge expansion of the social safety net. But yet, several millions of Americans would not receive an extra stimulus check. I think we need to have certainty, either through legislative text, through uniform agreement that we can trust because there's been so many changes in this process so many people you know yes no doing the hokey pokey one foot in one foot out so we need certainty that we're going to be able to deliver for working so people. certainty to be clear doesn't have to be legislative text it could be enough of a framework enough handshakes enough you know those types of assurances i think we need something a little bit more than just something on the back of an envelope i think legislative text is one mechanism of us getting there i think we're open to other mechanisms but it needs to be something a little bit more than a back of an envelope and what about the bully pulpit of the president coming in and saying i i need this i need your vote i need you to do this before i go to scotland well first and foremost Passing BIF alone, I do not think is a positive climate message. I think having and agreeing on a plan to draw down emissions and invest in environmental justice in this country is what we want to send the president to Glasgow. Thank you. For now, though, what it looks like to be taking shape is a one-year extension of this benefit. A benefit, by the way, that's already transferred tens of billions of dollars from the federal government's coffers to American families. There is actually a scenario where some families might receive $7,200. It is possible that lawmakers will decide to increase the amount of the expanded child tax credit payments next year, depending on how the United States continues to recover from this crisis. Friends, the key word for this video is pumpernickel. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's two $100 Walmart gift card giveaways, please click and like this video Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also comment below this keyword. Thank you so much, friends. The Social Security Administration recently announced that due to this year's high levels of inflation, it would be raising Social Security payments by nearly 6% in 2022, which is the highest increase in nearly 40 years. And a new bill introduced in Congress could increase those payments even further. While on the campaign trail, President Biden promised to look at the Social Security program, which is currently set to run out of money by the year 2034. And this is according to Representative John Larson of Connecticut, who introduced a new bill. This lack of funds would result in a 20% drop in benefits, 
Among some of the points in Biden's proposal was a suggestion to make payments that are at least 125% of the national poverty level to retirees. President Biden also campaigned on raising the Social Security income tax threshold to a maximum of $400,000, which would generate an additional $700 billion in revenue over 10 years. And if passed, John Larson's bill could do just that. House Ways and Means Social Security Subcommittee Chairman John Larson introduced the bill Social Security 2100. The bill is intended to expand Social Security benefits and prevent the program from running out of funds. It would also increase payments by about 2% for the average beneficiary. The legislation currently has nearly 200 co-sponsors and has been endorsed by more than 100 advocacy groups. Social Security 2100 will expand benefits and strengthen Social Security. This crisis has only underscored what we already knew and has exacerbated systemic inequities. Current benefits are not enough. Larson's bill pushes a date that benefits would expire to the year 2038 in order to give Congress more time to find a long-term solution for the impending retirement crisis. But in the meantime, it would also increase minimum benefits and raise the income threshold to payroll taxes to $400,000, up from the current threshold of $142,800. Friends, that is the end of the video for this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me here today. The two winners of this week's $100 Walmart gift card giveaway are Tim Sinclair and Sherry McClure. Thank you so much and congratulations to both of you. Remember friends that I will be giving away two more $100 Walmart gift cards next Friday. To enter that giveaway, all you have to do is click and like my videos. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and comment below the keyword from every video. Thank you so much and have a very blessed weekend.